Hey everyone, welcome to Linux Fam. Back with the another Linux desktop customization video. And today we'll show you how to customize Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktop. You've already seen the end results, and we hope you liked it. So let's begin this customization. First, download the project file. You can find the link of the project file down in the description of this video, and then extract it and run the script to install all the packages which we'll need to customize the desktop. To run the script, we need to make the script executable first. So type chmod plus xscript.sh and then type slash script.sh and press enter and type your password and your job in the terminal is done. No more terminal for the rest of the customization. Then download all the themes and icon pack from the given links and then download them one by one. After you finish downloading all the themes, select all of them and right click and click extract. Now you move all the wallpapers to the walls folder, which is located in your home directory. Pest all the wallpapers inside walls one folder. And make sure to right click on empty space and click show hidden files to show all the hidden files. And then move the Grubbox theme folder to dot themes and do the same for icons too. Move the icons pack to .icons folder, which is located inside the home directory. Now install the fonts that we have just downloaded. So there's two fonts in total. Click the install button to install the font. Go to startup applications, and then click on the plus icon to add a script to the startup applications list. And then select the startup scripts included in the project file. So there's one for Glava, and one for you widgets, and one for Conky widgets. Don't forget to add the Ulauncher and Cairo doc to the list as well. And after you do all these, Time to restart. So restart your system and wait for it to apply the changes. Now right click on the bottom default panel and click move to move it to the left side of the screen. And then turn on the auto hide feature of the panel. Now right click on the Cairo dock and select configure and then go to themes and click on the browse button and select the Cairo theme zip file that is included with the project file. And it will apply the theme and all the settings for us. And now to change the Ulauncher theme, simply click the gear icon and select the Grubbox theme. And we're pretty much done. Now you will notice there are a few buttons on the top right corner of the screen. So clicking on one of theme will change the wallpaper. Every time you click on it, it will apply a different wallpaper. And there are two more buttons below that which will toggle the rain and particle effects on and off. This is useful if you're looking to reduce some pressure from the processor. And you can also run pkill glava on the terminal to turn off the glava visualizer because it takes up quite some processing power. Now let's apply a new theme to the browser. And then play something to show how glava looks. Glava is an audio visualizer on the bottom left of the screen. And finally, we'll do some customization to the terminal. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. 
If you like the customization, don't forget to subscribe for more customization like this. And thank you so much for the love and support. Really, really appreciate that. So see you on the next video.